This is how you can get plugins for your Steam Deck in about a minute. Go ahead and turn on your Steam Deck. Not necessary, but I'm going to be using a keyboard to help me out with some of the commands. Once you get all of this connected, we can go into the Steam Deck settings from here to system. And we're going to enable enable developer mode. So you have that checked on back out and scroll down until you get to the developer tab. And here we're going to scroll down some more until we find the CEF remote debugging. Check that on and you're going to be prompted to restart now. Go ahead and do so and wait for the restart. Now that we are fully back up, we're going to need to get into desktop mode. Easiest way to do this, go into the power settings and hit switch to desktop. Assuming you haven't set anything up before, we're going to need to do something first. Hit on start and we're going to type in console to open up the terminal. Once we have this open, type in PASSWD to set up a password. Now that we have a password, we can move to the final step of actually installing the program. I'm going to leave this text in the description below in case it's easier to copy or read. The whole reason we needed the password to begin with is because we need to run this as sudo with elevated rights. But once this completes, and it might hang for here a second, but once it completes, we are basically good to go. After the command is complete, we can return to gaming mode. Game mode loaded, we can find a brand new icon in the quick settings down at the bottom and at the top right, we can go to the store and try a bunch of different plugins. I'll go over a couple of my favorites with the first one being Vibrant Deck. I really like this, it gives you full control over the saturation of the screen. Looks really good in some games. Here's a quick example of what it could look like and you have full control over how much exactly you're adding, but I really dig it. My personal favorite of the bunch is CSS Loader. In here you can download themes and toggle specific things on and off. These are going to target the home screen, target the library, even just simple things like rounding corners, adding gradients is a totally fun experience. And this will let you go from a pretty basic home screen to something a little bit more customized, to something a little bit more out there. And like I mentioned, it will not only affect the home screen, but you can see some of the changes in the library and in the quick settings. Power Tools is another interesting one if you like to tinker around. It lets you set how many cores you want to run and enable or disable SMT. Interesting for emulating. I'm sure there's some other use for it too. But these are the ones that I use. There's so many other plugins that you can try out. But if any of this stuff was useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one. See ya.